I sat through hundreds of hours of content, scouring the web for some interesting shit to find. To put it briefly, I discovered some of the most deplorable rabbit holes ever, ranging from political extremism, dangerous malware, and nefarious children's content. The internet is a very weird place. Type a keyword into any search bar, and you're bound to find some pretty unwanted things. Search for cooking videos, end up with cannibalism websites. Search up religious choir videos, end up with tutorials on how to conduct satanic spells. Granted, some key terms end up with worse things than others, but all is the same in principle. It allows for the misuse and exploitation of these wormholes by malicious users. This is what is referred to as a pipeline, often characterized as a channel of information which could lead to both direct and indirect sources of digital treasure. These pipelines have almost definitely been explored numerous times by large YouTubers. However, I feel that they've only scratched the surface of this deep and dark carcass of the internet. Keep in mind that I am in no way trying to be the next Matt Watson. In fact, I condemn that retard for what he did to this website. I'm not here to be a crusader or a white knight either. I'm just here to take a look at some weird shit and provide some commentary and insight into what I find. So with that being said, join me as we take a dive into the strangest side of the web. I decided to test this theory by looking up computers and technology. It started off normal enough, with many of the videos being from common technology-based channels like Everything Apple Pro and Tech Racks. The suggested videos were normal enough too, with the videos on there being either their videos or videos pretty similar to them. However, that didn't last too long. The algorithm soon began to recommend me computer virus testing videos, such as testing out the Trojan horse virus or testing out the I love you virus on my computer. This will there we go. I thought we tried to close it, so it spawned many more windows. Uh, hitting Control and Alt Delete sometimes pops up a window. This means that my suggested videos changed as well, going from regular computer and tech videos to testing malware. However, even with me telling you that, there wasn't anything too abnormal yet. Yes, perhaps virus testing videos may be a little strange, but it doesn't compare to what I found later on. While watching some of these virus testing videos, slowly but surely, the algorithm began recommending me videos on how to hack into personal information. Information ranging from weak shit like simple Wi-Fi passwords to security and banking information. While in this stage of digging deep, I noticed particular channels appearing. The main one I took note of was a channel run by a man named Null Byte. Even the ads on the videos that I was watching were promoting certain hacking tutorials for white hat hackers. White hat hackers being people who are using hacking for good. Now look, I don't exactly think that these people are making these videos with the intent to create an organization of these psychotic hackers. At least, I hope not. However, you can't exactly plead ignorance when someone just so happens to use your very convenient tutorials for misuse. Seriously. Regardless of their intent, this shit is very weird. I mean, they have tutorials on how to track smartphones and how to smuggle information past firewalls. Come on, dude. You're just asking for people to abuse this. Certain videos that I saw even had certain networks and applications meant for hacking a target's computer. One of these networks I saw was Nmap, a software whose sole purpose is to discover services on a target's computer. Now if you're weirded out now, get ready, because it's about to get so much worse. My suggested feed ended up recommending me a weekly minute video on the basics of navigating the deep web. It teaches you the basics of the Tor browser and downloading it. It teaches you how to access certain sites under restrictions. It even teaches you how to access certain dark web markets. Online markets where you can purchase many things like your average canister of weed, to illegal firearms, to illegal substances like heroin and meth injections. Now keep in mind, based on the information that I know of, which mainly consists of Mudahar's deep web exploration videos. Accessing the deep web is not illegal. However, the actions that you take may put you under the risk of either law enforcement or more sinister users. There was even a video explaining how to commit credit card fraud and selling them to make large sums of money. I understand that by having this segment in my video or by making this whole video entirely, that I'm probably fucking with the wrong people. So as any hackers, um, please spare me. I'm sure that if I continued looking into this rabbit hole, I would have definitely found more criminal tutorials or more malware. However, at that point, I was a bit worried that I would have found something that I would have regretted, like CP or some shit. And I do not feel like being targeted by the FBI. Not today, at least. Politics, the biggest landmine you can step on if you even say the slightest incorrect thing. Now, I'm not here to discuss my personal political beliefs because that's a slippery slope to walk past, so fuck that. However, my next keyword that I searched up was politics. Now I'm sure that if you guys have a functioning cerebrum, 
you understand that the most popular parties being put under scrutiny are Democrats and Republicans. So I decided instead of picking one, why not do both? Diving into the left side of the spectrum, I found pro-Biden anti-Trump videos. Nothing too unusual or unnerving there. However, the prospect didn't exactly last very long. The algorithm changed from recommending me anti-Trump videos to videos about the hot topic and landmine of the current BLM protests and riots. This didn't exactly surprise me though, because as I said before, this is a very hot topic with very fiery opinions involved on both sides. The main channels showcasing these videos are the main news channels that we know. CNN, ABC, Fox News, and all the other ones. Digging deeper into the video links of some of these riot videos, I began to see some very grueling detailed footage of people committing certain crimes on both sides. Committing crimes like arson and assault. Now, I can't exactly show you the footage based on the strict community guidelines, but I will tell you that if you want to see these, for whatever reason, they are readily available on YouTube. Just look them up. What I found after though, I did not expect at all. President Obama, your policy against the Islamic State has brought us once again to kill an American citizens. Keep in mind that I am heavily condensing the explanation of how I got here. This was based on hours worth of clicking on video after video, going down a select pipeline all the way to where I am now. It may very well be different for you. If you go on certain other videos, you may find shit like communist extremists or hit lists against certain right-leaning political figures. It's all based on luck. Some of you might not even find anything at all after a certain amount of video clicks. These terrorist videos range from direct threats to live recordings of terrorist threats, to professional news videos regarding terrorism, all the way down to terrorist recruitment videos. Who believe, answer the call of Allah. Now, as far as I'm aware, this seems to be where the pipeline ends. After another 20 minutes of clicking video after video, the algorithm only continued to recommend me these videos, so I just gave up on that pipeline. <laughs> Diving into the right side of the spectrum, this pipeline starts with the vice versa of what I found previously, anti-Biden, pro-Trump videos. The ads shown being very similar. I want to mention to you guys that the ads that are shown to you are based on the content that you watch. If you are an avid viewer of someone like Ben Shapiro, for example, YouTube will deem you a conservative and start showcasing you ads like PragerU. If you are an avid viewer of a channel like Vox, YouTube will likely consider you a liberal and begin advertising companies pertaining to those politics. You get the picture. This isn't only a prevailing thing on YouTube. Look up any basic political subreddit like r slash breadtube and end up with some politically extreme subreddits. It just depends on how deep you dig. I do not believe that we should be characterizing Hitler as a nationalist. Nationalism. I'm sure you guys can tell where this pipeline is leading down. Keep in mind that if you see a video discussing any political ideology, whether positively or negatively, will prompt the algorithm to recommend you videos regarding that ideology. So with that being said, a political commentator mentioning nationalism started to recommend me some weird videos. I found some strange videos about Nazis. A lot of them were news videos, but a decent bit of them were presumably actual Nazis delivering their broken beliefs to the audience watching. Obviously, most of the videos that have Nazis talking have them giving very extreme opinions on deportation and showing their support for the main man himself. I watched quite a bit of these videos trying to figure out if they were meme videos or if they were actually being serious. But based on how much footage there was and their willingness to actually have their face put on camera, points me to the latter. And now here I am at another roadblock. It seemed to me that the pipeline stopped here. Mixed in with some KKK rallies and searching in the feed for darkest shit, all I was getting at that point was just the far right of the spectrum. Oh boy, this is where the rabbit hole gets really fucking unnerving. Kids! I found this strange rabbit hole by looking up hashtag gymnastics on Instagram. What prompted me to test this key term out, you may ask? Well, I was watching this YouTuber slash streamer named PayMoneyWubby, and he actually tried it for himself after someone gave him the suggestion to test it out. Okay, so it's just young, uh, girls doing, uh, gymnastics. Oh, why are they all kids? That, that is kind of weird. Nissan Sigurna. I don't know what the fuck that means. Well, uh, okay. This is weird. That's a little, I don't even want to read that one out loud. That's a little, oh, there's another one. Okay. All right. This is a little more yikes than I, than I thought a few seconds ago. Okay. Oh God. Hey there. We tried to send you a message. If you didn't get the message, please send us one. Nice pants. Z this is actually weird. Damn, you're hot. This is a child. I checked to see if those posts still existed. And unfortunately they do. A lot of posts include actual gymnastics being done by adults. Some on the other hand were performed by very young kids. Young kids doing stretching, yoga, or exercise moves, which put the kids in very compromising positions. Now, I don't want to come off as some fucking boomer, but 
I don't know why the parents allowed their kids to post this type of shit with the comments on. Like, what the fuck is the point of having the comments on for these videos? What discussions there to have on these videos, huh? After looking at these posts for a decent bit, I began to take note of particular accounts appearing on the feed. The one with the most posts being an account going by the name of Girls Couture Club. After checking this account over, it seemed to be a modeling account. There was one weird part about it though. All the people who were modeling these outfits were young girls. Only young girls. Below the age of 18, young girls. Another thing to note is that all of these posts have the comments turned on, and they have some pretty sick messages describing these girls. Magnificent, lovely, beautiful, very beautiful, very, very, very cute. Heart emoji, heart emoji, heart emoji, heart emoji, kiss emoji. Mmm, okay, kiss, heart, explosion, fire, wave, praise, thank you, beautiful girl, little, dot dot dot. Happy emoji, dot dot dot, hi cutie, trot bell set, beautiful girl, little, wow, dot dot dot, I miss you, it's daddy. Very nice picture. I love you, baby, and miss you. It's me, daddy. <laughs> the same fucking guy. Who the fuck are you, piece of shit? Beautiful skin. Hello. Would you like to get a model order? Accommodation cost you nothing. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. And 500 to 1,000 euros per day. Lovely. Very, very beautiful. Heart emoji, heart emoji, kiss emoji. Very, very, very beautiful. Fire emoji. So hot. I love you. I love you, Teja. Now that doesn't inherently mean that the people running this account are pedos. It could just mean that they're fucking stupid. So I gave them the benefit of the doubt and threw them a bone for a bit. The name of the person who owns this account, and presumably the organization, if it even is one, is a person going by the name of Roxy Glockenspiel. If you check the Twitter account though, you will immediately take note of the fact that these fucking names are spelled differently. So unless the person who owns this account has fucking dyslexia and Down Syndrome, this person does not exist. Checking over their Twitter seems to show that their account entirely consists of retweets of extremely young girls modeling some normal clothes, but also some pretty skimpy clothing. Starting to get a little more weird. I don't know about you, but I'm starting to get a little bit suspicious. So I did a bit more research and I found out that there were two channels going under the name of Girls Couture Club, with the original one being deleted. If you look at the one that is readily available, which is Girls Couture Club 2, You'll see that their uploads consist of TikTok kids on live, TV clips, and photo shoots that are undoubtedly taken from somewhere else. In other words, their channel is just stolen content about young teens. I wasn't satisfied with just that though, so I looked up a link to the original channel provided by Reddit. Pasting that link into the Wayback Machine led to this archive of their channel, which provided some very strange titles and thumbnails for me to look over. I'm now going to show you one of these videos of their boobs and bloomers photo shoot, and I want you to keep in mind that there are adults behind the cameras telling these kids what to do. I'm gonna blur the necessary parts in the video just in case something suggestive is on the screen. Without further ado, here it is. Pedo, pedo, pedo. If you watch this, you're a pedo. And you should feel bad. Ah. Your vocal cords contort. And you can be Running out of things to say. If you watch a serial fucking pedo, pedophile. Man. If you watch this, you should feel bad about your. Yes. This is a real video that was uploaded to YouTube. Now, thankfully, the comments are turned off by YouTube. But I can only imagine the sick fucks in the comment section who decided to give their two cents to this. Here is another video I have for you. And it's pretty cut and dry what the intention of this video is. What the fuck am I watching? Man, this shit is strange. It's just deranged. She's underage. This shit is fucking weird. Don't let me be your home if you keep fucking This could be shit like fucking kids, you faggots, fucking goofy. Looking at the recommended feed led me to these videos with a thumbnail of a young schoolgirl. The title reads, quote, Young Naughty Schoolgirls. Now, this is the feed on the Wayback Machine. And as far as I'm aware, the channel that uploaded this video is terminated. Thank fuck for that. One thing that I forgot to mention was that the first playlist you see when searching up Girls Couture Club on YouTube is a playlist titled Sexy. Clicking on this playlist led me to find videos of young girls mainly doing gymnastics, dance performances, yoga, workout routines, and other shit similar to that. Now allow me to give my opinion on this entire prospect of kids posting videos of themselves on the internet. Get the fuck off the internet. Young kids should not be allowed to post their kinds of videos anywhere. 
especially provocative shit like this. Young kids should not be modeling themselves in skimpy clothing. There should not be zoom-ins on kids' private parts. No, this is fucking sick. These videos are fucked up and are being taken advantage by the wrong fucking people. Pedophiles in 2020 must be living the fucking dream right now, dude. Look at Cuties on Netflix. Probably the most fucked up shit to ever come out of the mainstream. And it features young girls doing some of the weirdest shit. Once again, I want to clarify that I am not trying to start a mob in any way. I fucking hate lynch mobs who claim that they're doing the right thing, while in the process ruining everything else in sight. Fuck that. I'm just here to express my concerns and provide some entertaining content for myself to make. My principle on YouTube is very pro-free speech. I think that anybody should be allowed to say whatever the fuck they want, as long as it's within the realm of sanity. I even think hate speech should be allowed on YouTube. The most fucked up politics should be allowed on YouTube, because there's discussion to have there and people can criticize the stupid shit they say. That's the beauty of the internet. However, these kid videos of young girls doing very strange shit, there is no place for that shit here and there's no fucking discussion to be had there. I think that's enough internet for me today, guys. Thanks for watching. They fucking foolish. What's his name?